13. Life has a way of paying back our actions, whether good or bad. Using the play Parliament of Owls by Adipo Sidang, write an essay to validate this statement. Life is hilarious. Each person will be paid according to how much we work. Or should it be a case of you reap what you sow? Right? Every action that we get involved in will have its results and outcomes. The effects of that action will touch on us, whether we like it or not. Several characters in Parliament of Owls get involved in various activities without caring what the outcomes will be. In the long run, they receive a reward or punishment for it. The royal owl is toppled and his rule ends embarrassingly. As the Parliament of Owls leader, the royal owl ignores the atrocities meted against other birds. He does not condemn the passing of bills in Parliament which favor owls and disadvantage other birds. He brings most of those bills. In addition, he agrees to the killing of birds perceived to be enemies of the kingdom. After being killed, he comes to celebrate, sing, and dance at Aram Tidi's grave. Life pays him according to his action when Oyundi hatches a plan, removes him from power, and changes the parliament to flock of birds, and Oyundi becomes then queen. Aram Tidi is killed at the water point at the river because of working for the royal owl and money bags. Aram Tidi has been used as the chief propagandist by money bags and by extension, the royal owl to spread lies to other birds. The falsehoods that he spreads make some of the bills be passed, which favor the owls by the end of the day. The owls get tired of him, and fearing that he knows too much, money bags and red string organize for Aram Tidi to be killed. Eventually, life serves him a dose for his actions. Moneybags is killed when the royal owl orders after Oyundi reveals much about him. Moneybags is the blue-eyed bird of the royal owl. He takes advantage of this position to force the passing of bills such as the moonlight bill and make up the bill that only favors the owls. He again uses his position to advance corruption. For example, he wants to use tax from the moonlight law to go and invest in his private business. He even thinks of taking over the government from Royal Owl King Tula. His actions catch up with him, and he is killed when Royal Owl gets wind of everything and is angered. Oyundi is made queen after overthrowing the cruel, dictatorial Royal Owl. Oyundi, a small tiny canny bird, stands up against the atrocities and oppression meted on the other birds by the leadership of the Royal Owl. The Parliament of Owls passes last with favor owls, for instance, the Moonlight Bill. Introducing a curfew that restricts twittering and flying around some birds, yet owls will be free to move around. On top of that, the law comes with a tax paid by the same birds who are disadvantaged by this law. The birds do not have food. Oyundi, with the support of other birds, works her way out to eventually remove the roya, 